everybody. How's it going? Welcome to today's stream. It's Monday. It is Rogue Tech time. Um, game is loading a little bit. Uh, I might have to restart the whole situation here. I don't know why it's taking too long, but hey, guys, welcome in. Uh, I hope you have a great day. And uh, if not, we're going to make it better by just making some mechs go boom. That's the story for today. I want to see what we can do with our mechs. Maybe we can get some upgrades. Maybe we can find some, you know, new items and, you know, make our whole lands better what, what's kind of curious by the way when comparing my my live stream stuff to my video stuff uh in terms of rogue tech is that uh we have way better equipment here but we have way better max on the other one we just need to put two of them together in order to get it done but yeah again game is loading a little bit but we only have like 500 more packages pending seems to be good so yeah how's your game uh, how's your game how's your day guys i hope it's good uh, we, by the way, had Bounty in as the first one here. Welcome in, Bounty. A uh, bunch of people on YouTube as well. Hello, Gamer Kevin, Tank. Uh, hey, Boric. Victor is there. Terry Tola. Uh, and some other people here as well. Bradman Dudu. Tach, grüß dich. Hi. Wie geht's? Mm, always good to see new content. Oh, you're talking about the Goblin Stone stuff. Man, I am having a blast playing that game. I cannot deny it. I, I really love it, and I'm actually happy that I can put it out as a daily episode because I, I really like this. So uh, I can sit down and play this a lot. And this is really, really cool. Super excited about how this is going to go. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, there is a little extra series on the YouTubes. And uh, so far I kept my promise. My other content is not compromised because of it. So it's going to be additional content. Enjoy it, guys. Enjoy it as much as I do, hopefully. Hello, Shannon. Welcome. Okay, so there we go. Uh, by the way, uh, speaking of uh, Goblin Stone, um, this guy on Steam has a mixed Dad, results, mixed reviews, and that is because a lot of people love the game hey, as Hope much as I do. A good day and let's scrap um, some mixed smile. And other people say it's unplayable because a lot of bugs right now, but there will be another patch coming out this week, uh, and it's a major patch, so I'm kind of hoping that my strong medium lance that with the right equipment can go a very I'll come long back to way. that in a sec. Yeah, I really hope that they will they will get it done uh, so everybody can enjoy the game with basically no bugs. What's going on here? We have Nordic in the house with a resub here. 59 months already. Thank you very much, dude. A tier 2 as well. Gotta mention that, right? Uh, hope you're having a good day. Let's grab some max. That's the plan. Absolutely. Thank you again for your long support, man. Thank you. And there's Farron dropping a thousand bits, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Sh uh, Lands of Shadowhawks and Bushwalkers is a strong medium lens that with the right equipment can go a very long way. Yeah, I do like it. Honestly, Shadowhawks and Whackers are my kind of favorite medium mechs. They're really, really good. Mm, Heboric says, I haven't watched it yet, but I'm planning to binge for sure. I adore Goblins. This is such a cute game, and I honestly really do like the game mechanics as well. This is amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. But yeah, we are here to play some Rogue Tech, so let's go ahead and play some Rogue Tech. My time is a bit limited today. I'm planning for like one and a half to two hours today. Because um, there is going to be a role-playing session. Uh, zero, uh, uh, session 0 0.5, basically a character intro that I want to play with a friend. Uh, it's about an hour of content that I still need to prepare. And uh, for that, I need to be on point today. Therefore... Yes, we have the Hatchet Man, we have a Dervish and a Phoenix Arc here. The Phoenix being our lowest impact mech currently. Uh, also, let's not forget Irby. Uh, so let's... Yeah. Let's wait for the work orders. Ah, and I forgot. We have an amazing amount of money. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. How did that happen? Like, why do we have so much? Oh, there's also a Wolvie. Right. I forgot about the Wolvie that we got last time. I think this guy just wants to be repaired, huh? Certainly better than the Urban Mac. Comes with a Royal Heatsink kit, a gyro defense, an engine as well. Uh, and yes, it was running some SRMs with Artemis. That's your deal here. This guy is certainly better than our friend the Phoenix Hawk. I can tell you already in this setup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I... You know what? It's 10 days of time. We're gonna start the work and we're gonna repair it while we are on the battlefield and come back later. Kevin Gaming. Kevin Gaming and Gamer Kevin. Wait, are you the same person? Are you just jumping between YouTube and Twitch back and forth? Because we have Gamer Kevin on the Twitches, and we have Kevin Gaming, uh, sorry, on YouTube, and Kevin Gaming here on Twitch. That's funny. <laughs> that is so funny, man. <laughs> have you seen the short animation from BPL Van Zandt Annual Irby Derby? No, I did not, I think. 
You the same on both. I got you. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get into our first mission. Oh, wait. Are we? I need to quickly take a look. Did we find anything special? Any good equipment that we can put in our mechs? We got Pharaoh, Endo, XL, XL Gyro. We got LRMs. Yeah, this is the long range setup that we got right now. By the way, we have a good chunk of mech shots, so we should probably use them. They are very good weapons. Um, yeah. Mm. Chainsaw tag. Devil's AC-20, Ultra-10, Light Rifles. What about, like, internals? Is there anything notable? It seems like we're fine. We got claws, but we don't need them because we got a headset. That's interesting. A Beeble. A Beeble. Two Guardian ECMs. Like, ECM on everybody? That sounds like a good idea. So, hold up. Negative 60 need. We, we certainly don't need that. That means... We can bring a Guardian ECM for our Long Ranger. Never mind, we got a beacon. Okay, so I'm, I'm not gonna debate it any further. Let's just go. I think we are strong. Let's do it. So, into the command. No. Fatigue. Now. Now we go into the command center. Here we go. So, what do we play? I really, I really feel like two skull is easy, two skull is doable. We probably need to go to another planet. And yes, we want to grind some affinity for the uh, Draconis Combine. Uh, this is ambush convoy. It's against the uh, combine, so no. It's all against the combine. Ah! Come on! Give me some mission. Oh, it's not the mission I want. What do we do now? It feels bad jumping now. It really feels bad. Is there anything that is not against the combine? Uh, uh. Ah, no. There's, there's nothing here. Like, something quick. Everything's against it. This is all all bad for us. I mean, we can play the one skull. All right, let's farm. Okay, this is what we do. We're gonna farm some items, and then we're gonna we're gonna jump to another planet that gives us a higher difficulty because we also got the party truck. Of course, yes. <laughs> let's do it, man. <laughs> Farron Mac just gifted us up. Farron, what's going on, man? Thank you for the bits, and now the gifted sub as well. Thank you so much for that. To Ale Fiend, I like that name. Was that handpicked or random? Thank you. Too many dang Kevins that are also gamers. Right. Down with the Kevin supremacy here. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, Haberwick says, uh, that's far too much money in a bar to play through. Ah, yeah, this is wrong. Absolutely wrong. I should just give everything to charity or so. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I mean, like, in-game money. <laughs> Welcome in Nazagi. Hi. Hello, hello. By the way, uh, for all of you interested and who didn't get the memo, it's Spring Sale on uh, on Steam. Um, one thing that I just picked up was... Uh, 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 what's the name? Jacket Alliance 3. And I also picked up uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, finally. Because currently it's, I think, half price or something. Like, normally 80 bucks, which is really, really much. Um, but now it was actually kind of cut in half. And uh, I finally, finally... Uh, pulled the trigger on that, and I'm very much excited to start playing that. That is a thing that was on my list for like a long, long time. And I just started playing around a little bit with Jagged Alliance, and uh, a friend of mine saw me playing that on Steam, and he's like, What? You're playing this Sorry. now? Winking face. Aren't you a little bit late? And I'm like, Yeah, but the game is still good. The game is still good, and it is. I actually enjoy it. It's very close to the old Jagged Alliance titles. I think it's a, it's a worthy. Um, what is it? A successor? It's so cool. Hey, Bomber Bob, thank you for the tier one. Thank you for the 10 months as well. I'm not buying a PS5 just for Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2. I do have to believe that this will be out for PC at some point as well, right? I mean, yeah, it sucks that it's kind of like cut in... How many? Three pieces? Four? But um, I just, I just want to play it. If I have to buy a PS5 for that, i probably, I don't know, bribe a friend at some point so I can play it on their PS5. Um, hmm. Man, they are really far away from one another. All right, let's deal with the lands that we have in front of our face here and then cross the river and then go. Morning from Texas. Must be around 3 or 4 p.m. Yeah, it's 4. 4 p.m. is my usual time. 
Ah, yes, and they have a support lance, and they got battle armor. Magnetic. Hold up. Are you running these magnetic mines? We need to get away from these. We need to do it now. Like, instantly. Run! I don't know where, but away. Generally, away. I'm gonna throw a ping out here. Maybe it's helping attacking these battle armors next round. Magnetic clamps? What is that doing? Just picked up Dragon's Dogma to play before the sequel comes out, because it was just four bucks. I don't know, I've yes. never really played Dragon's Dogma. Is it good? I mean, it's a big, like, name. What are you? Falcon. A 30-toner, that is very killable. D and I on, brace it up. Here we go. Yeah, it looked cool. Dragon's Dogma, the new title. Uh, I wasn't that a character creator for free where you could play around with it. And a lot of people, I saw a lot of posts where people used the Dragon's Dogma character creator, which seems to be very customizable, and created Baldur's Gate 3 characters out of it. That was so fun. This is my Astarion. Look at Karlak. <laughs> so good. Um, yeah. Jump, jump, jump around. I'm gonna turn my ECM to active to scramble all of these fools. It helps everybody doing that. Okay, here we go. Hello, Shizzle. Welcome. How's it going? It's quite good. I had a I had a wonderful night. Um, because <laughs> last night I was like, you know what? I need a night of rest. I like a full night of rest, and I took some sleeping pills. And holy cow, they kicked in instantly. And I slept till like 10:30 today. So I was going to bed before midnight, which is rare for me, so I think it was like 10.30 and I slept till 10.30. Uh, so that was about like 12 hours of sleep and my god do I feel rested. That was so needed. So needed. Oh man. But yeah, I'm having a good time. I was seeing the doc today and uh, he uh, prescribed me antidepressants, finally. We were talking about it, and uh, we both find it a good idea. So that's the thing that I'm going to try now. Uh, let's see how this is going to go. So for all of you who don't know, yes, I suffer from depression. Um, but um, it's like a like a big up and down for me. And right now, I kind of just want to be a bit more stable. And uh, hope that the medications will work. So fingers crossed. Got the hatchet man here. Oh yes, we are in active combat now. Let's go. The scout is not a problem. I think I'm gonna try to get the falcon out as our first target. Let's go for a physical weapon attack. Keep the chaff in the bay. Don't wanna use it yet. Take this. Oh, down goes the leg. Yeah, what a surprise that a lot of sleep that, you know, that, how to say it, a lot of good quality sleep Helps you so much with your energy and activity level in a day, right? It's so crazy. <laughs> Who would have thought that? Hopefully the medication helps a little you out. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm gonna start tomorrow and the doc said um, it's about like two weeks until I uh, kind of see and feel it. Uh, and then we're gonna see from that point on. going on here in chat? Da, 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 da. It's Kevin Gaming 2.0? What is going on? <laughs> oh my god. Make a nice soul. Yeah, I've read that. I've read that. Um, let's see. Let's see. If the libido, huh? That's a term. Uh, is gonna go down or not. We'll see. Um, Dervish. We need to take out uh, the battle armor, which is now in our friendly spider. Our friendly neighborhood spider is gonna go down because of battle armor. But hey, what can I say? Better you than me! Cannot get to this guy, the stinger. But you know what? I, th I think we don't we don't have to overcomplicate this. Let's just let's just try to hit what we can hit. Oh, Thomas is in the house. Thomas, thank you, man. Thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. That's so nice of you. As per usual, uh, you're a big supporter of the channel, so thanks for that. I appreciate that. So, what's my best hit chance? I think I'm gonna go with that. 
Um, wait, hold up. We got Hydra. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Hit the scout a little bit. I'm gonna see where this is going. Not much, but I hope it brings some cheer. Dude, it is a lot. Every, every single bit that you are doing for me as a community is, uh, is so much appreciated, really. I'm very, very grateful for that. Also for all of you watching, all of you uh, actually sustaining the video uh, advertisements and, and so on. So without you, I couldn't be here. So thank you. Yeah, let's go with the Phoenix here. Go for the kick. No mines, but we got the mediums and the max shots. Cannot click the mongoose right now. Oh, the falcon, sorry. There we go. I mean, the Phoenix Hawk is extremely mobile. But that is the extent of what it can do currently. What we need is... I think we need a... Like a heat management system, right? We don't have a double heatsink kit for the uh, for the Phoenix Hawk. That will be a major upgrade. But then, at the same time, uh, I was debating it earlier. We have this Wolverine in the making. Ooh, it's another max shot fire starter. Um, and the Wolverine is technically just better and already in a better spot where I feel like I, I don't need to. I don't need to change anything on the Phoenix because it's not gonna... We phase it out, you know? We, we don't worry about that guy. Captain Thick. Rod. <laughs> hey, Barodul. I hope all is well today. Uh, most of it, actually. Most of it. And then there's old Shatterhand. Thank you for the nine-month resub. Appreciate it. And Bomberbob. Wait, what? You resubscribed as well, and I didn't see it. Thank you. Thank you, man. Phoenix Hawks are great backstabbers. Yeah. You need to somehow get behind the enemy, though, and I don't really like doing it. Because it's risky. Wait. Oh, we can hit these guys now. Did they eat up the spider? Wait. What happened? No spider slapped them. Somehow. Huh. How do we deal with these? Uh, oh, I have an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So we go here. We're gonna hit the scout a little bit. And we're gonna drop some mines on his feet. Because why not? It's a bit of area control. Um, I mean, never mind. Our rotaries, they just slap. <laughs> Amazing. So we, mi we mind our Urbi. <laughs> Self-mining. Did you figure out where the Shaman Guild went? Yes. Yes. Um, I figured it out. I rearranged my, um, my lair a little bit. You can do that. Um... And I did it off camera, and I think there was a bug at some point where I shifted one of my tunnels around and my lair, uh, sorry, my shaman guild got disconnected from that and then vanished. It is technically still there, so I cannot build any rooms in that spot that, where the shaman guild was, but it's also not visible anymore, so I cannot interact with it. So it's a hidden, a hidden room that technically exists, but it's in the ground and it's gone. And I hope that the patch that's coming out this week is gonna fix that. I build another Shaman's Guild in the next episode, so I have two, so I can actually access and, and manipulate my Shamans, but eh, it's kind of nasty. It is a buggy thing. It just vanished. That's the thing. Um, Disco Lasers! Disco Lasers are particularly good at attacking battle armor. I need to get an angle, though. Send me an angle. That seems good. Hello. Get wrecked. Alright. That was good. That was really good. <laughs> I love the goblin name stage. It's so much fun. Yeah, the developers... They, they probably had a lot of fun generating those. These nice little, like, random two-word thingies. Stinger. Okay. Okay, so they're just moving... Mm. I want to put my LRMs more to the front line so that we are able to intercept what's coming. Let's give the Stinger some hell while we are at it. Kablam. This, this guy should be dead now. 
So, tag, double medium laser, and LRM-40 doesn't kill a stinger. Yes. Okay. Maybe a hatchet does. But that's too far away. Yes, it is. So then... We'll... We'll move. Come on! There we go. Because we are not helpless at range. We got an Ultra Auto Cannon 10. And that thing shreds. Mech destroyed. <laughs> Lint Yanka online, Bump Rafter online, Drug Powder online, all systems nominal. Morning, Barah. Hey, Glad Rabbit. I'm finally able to catch the stream today. Nice. Make yourself comfortable. Grab a cup of tea or coffee or whatever beverage you like. And uh, yeah, welcome in. Hi. So we want to get out of our minds and into the fight. Let's shoot five times. Ah, yes, I just realized. Zed is still our uh, replacement pilot. He is not good at managing the recoil. We need the other guy. But hey, Scout is on the ground and he punched out. Now we have a useless minefield. Who's gonna clean that up now, huh? Alright. Seven damage. More than I expected. Let me see what's over here. It's also kind of funny that we got some friendlies. The striker and the spider are not particularly useful against the battle armor at the very least. But hey, it's nice to have them. Extra meat is always nice. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, you my friend, the Phoenix Hawk. Where are you? You are supposed to destroy the battle armor. Because this is what you're made for. Hmm... Let me go Vigilant as well, so I have a possibility for a higher initiative than these guys next round, just in case. So I can shoot again and destroy or jump away. That's not gonna happen. Mongoose? Okay. Irby has a pretty low stability threshold, it seems. Is that because of, like, a gyro option that we took, or because of this guy's a primitive mech? Ultra light gyro, gotcha. Okay. Huh. Well, well. So. That is a way. That's a way to deal with the battle armor. Ah, 2%. That's a no sensor situation here. Interesting. It is not. We are at maximum range, which is plus 6. The target moved for a plus six. They had some effects. Mm -hmm. And the smaller the unit, the harder it is to hit, which makes a lot of sense. They get a plus one difficulty for having lost a guy. Interesting. I'm shooting it anyway. Okay. So yes, we can shoot once more. Let's get up here. And drop the minefield? I don't know if they are affected by the mines, but hey, there's one way to find out. Alright. Ah, oh, by the way. Combat lock. So, battle claws destroyed. That's what I like to hear. Uh, we didn't get, quite get the kill, but it's something. Yeah. I want the dervish to intercept whatever is coming from that area. So let's go for the mongoose. Yes, I could also use the EWS ping on the battle armor, I'm aware, but I just feel like we're good here. Yes. Uh, sure. Push it with the hatchet, man. Should have supercharged, maybe, to get a bit closer. Uh, fire. 17% twice is not a lot, but hey, it's, it's something. Alright. Mission takes longer than expected. It's only one skull, but because of the volume of enemies, we we have a lot going on. Thomas, thank you, man. <laughs> hey, all like and subscribe, a smiley face. <laughs> thank you so much for that. Hey, all like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, man, thank you for the for the bribe and uh, of course the support, man. <laughs> ah. 
Okay, so we want to probably get rid of the... Of the... Of the heat, actually. Aye, aye, aye. Um, but also the stability. Good damage on the mongoose. With this lance, you should be able to be comfortable in doing two to two and a half skull missions. Yes, this is just something I wanted to take with me before I go, because I feel like moving around when I have nothing else to do for my mech bay, um, and I have no pilots that can recover in that time, makes no sense. So I try to optimize my time investment a little bit. Uh, but yes, I will go for another planet right after we come out of this mission. Okay, they are down to one. Oh, by the way, um... Did the mines work on these? Damn it, I didn't see. Did you see? I forgot to check. Ah, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Mongoose, be gone. Look at all these numbers! <laughs> oh god. This guy is a stick! He only has legs and a center torso, but the thing is, he still has the weapon systems. Fine. It looked like they took some damage from the mines. Okay, so let's keep an eye on that. We need to learn. One squad died after walking through the minefield. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, let's go here. What can I hit? This guy not. I mean... Sure. We are currently in refire, right? Yeah, so we're gonna only shoot once against the mongoose, so we get out of the refire... And fire! Got a beat on I am happy that I didn't go melee on this guy. Mech oh boy. So, there we go. So turn 14 is gonna be interesting, because then the Inner Sphere Standard Battle Armor Squad is gonna move. Fire starter! Instant prodigy in my head. All the time when I say that word. Okay, let's get the Vulcan. It's a bunch of medium lasers. And we don't want them here. Okay, here we go. Uh oh. So, they didn't take any damage in the la- uh, in the- What's it called? Eh. 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 Combat lock. In the lock. So, yeah. They didn't take any damage, seemingly. But they are... On my Phoenix Hawk now. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and swat them. Attempt to remove swarming battle armor with hands and limbs. Base 25% chance plus 5 for each point of piloting. That's a 50% chance. If we roll over, we have a 70% chance, but we knock ourselves. Uh, I don't want that. I think we can just take some time to get rid of them by swatting. It's only one unit left and the damage they do is not that relevant. That is relevant damage though. Oh boy. Alright. Still got two units left. One of them is Irby. And I think the other guy is the Disco Truck. So I don't think that the Vulcan is gonna survive this. But we are slower than him. Okay. You mentioned the Shadowhawk and the Waka are your favorite medium eggs. What would be your favorite clan mediums? That's a good question. I think... Honestly, I think the Stormcrow is pretty cool. I do like it. it has a lot of lot of room, a lot of options. Um, I don't mind Arctic Wolves. I really don't. They're fun little mechs. Very mobile. Can also load a lot of weapons. You can see a pattern here, huh? Drake Osif just gifted a sub. Thank you. Not a sub, but a membership on YouTube. Thank you so much for that, man. Thank you. Um, and it's Daniel who got it. So, congratulations, Daniel. Alright, let's do it. Ultralight rotary rifles, locked and loaded. We have a better hit chance on the mongoose, which is actually also quite dangerous. Mm-hmm. So we gotta move through five mines. 
I just uh, three armor per mine. We triggered four and also got a little bit of splash damage. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It doesn't matter too much on the tank because it will repair automatically, but we gotta make sure that he survives that. What do you want? Yeah, alright. This is our vector. We need to somehow get the hatchet man into a melee scenario. We just need to. But we can also do this. So we fire away. <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> Alright. So, still infested. Swat them. 50%? No. Didn't get it. Ow. We sustained two armor damage from the melee attack and then the machine gun. Ow. Another four. It's not the biggest of deals. But all of these chances have the ability to injure the pilot as well. And that is obviously a thing we want to try to avoid. So, we started on the Vulcan. We started on the Mongoose. Mongoose we have a better hit chance on. Let's go with that. It's worth noting we only have one more Alpha Strike left of regular ammo. The rest is Hydra. So we probably need to change that on the Dervish as well. I mean, we are currently overcooling the mech. We have an additional heatsink that we don't need. That's a ton... Ton of ammo. Yeah. Cool. Is there water somewhere? Alright, let's go here. Cool down the Irby. Um, wait, at the same time? We can shoot more often, but we would lower our hit chance. <laughs> nah, this is fine. Right, one laser down. That's what we need. Spider does nothing. So the good news is, I don't think that the Mongoose is gonna take another turn because he's turn 10 and our Disco Laser Party Track is ready to go. And um, that should settle it. He also lost all of his evasion and, you know, he is almost dead. That should be a quick end to this guy. Also, quick question. Is Party Track... It's a truck, right? It doesn't have hover. No. No hover capabilities. It's a half track. You see that? It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, in we go with a pretty good hit chance. That should blow him up. No stack pole explosion. Good to see. All right. We're here. We're gonna get this done. You really hate the sound, sound bark when the battle armor swarm. True. You can still hear the clinking and clanking, eh? What is it already? All righty then. All righty then. We have jump jets. Do we leverage them? Yes, we do. Jets activated. I brace. There's no reason to go in like that. Um, that is pretty good. I will help out here. Unless we have a hit chance on the Dervish. A backstrike. A backstrike does nothing. No, I want to do some Hydra action on the fire starter. Heat him up a little bit. I know that there's a body of water right next to him, but he might not think about it. We'll see. could also be that this time I'm not gonna swat but roll around. It will deal some self damage to our mech, the fall damage, and we will just oh wait no, we would sustain an injury. Which is not the biggest of deals because we will go to another planet anyways. We have some recovery time. Ha huh. Chad, what do you say? Another 50-50 or a 70-30? What do you want to see here? Because I'm kind of torn. Roll in a minefield? Is that a good idea? That's an interesting idea. Yeah, it's a question. It's a good question. Let's uh, check it out. Gotta learn that. Bong. So. We took... Oh, so, first of all, we resisted the injury. That's pretty good. We didn't shake them off. They still have the attack. We took a good chunk of armor damage. 20, 25 and 16. 
We have negative one initiative. Hmm. But we didn't take any damage from the mines, so we know that now. That's science, guys. Cannot get to the Balkan, so we're gonna wait. Maybe he's coming around. We need to shake up the little guys. They're really, really annoying. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Dropping my Phoenix Hawk into the mines. Getting damage on our back armor and that thing just goes up in a big fiery ball of death. Uh, well. I didn't want to run this guy anymore anyways. Hello, immortal. Welcome in, man. Forgotten? Wait, what? You were afraid we did not get the arenas? Oh yeah, I mean, they're there. This is Solaris. Of course they will be there. Absolutely, and you're welcome. Hmm. Um, hmm. Hmm. I want to go back. I actually want to help out my Phoenix Hawk. Because there could be a situation where we just you want? drop these guys off of the, the Hawk. Up and, over. and then they just jump on it right, right away. Blind them. Okay. Hold up, no, wait. They they are off. They are not swarm attacking, they are going for a physical attack, right? They just happen to be in the same spot. But I don't see the models. That's weird, because the initiative tracker, it moved a bit. What? Is there no erratic maneuvers? Yeah, there is. We just did it, we rolled over. We basically slammed ourselves into the ground to get rid of these. Huh. Funky. Okay, we help out here. I mean, we could still Hydra this guy, but it doesn't do anything. I just realized it will not do anything. No, um, he's running a lot of mag shots. And those weapons are extremely cold, so he doesn't do a thing. Except for when we want to take away his cover. We're going to go in with the hatchet, man. This guy is going to solve our biggest problem. How? How did you do that? What? This guy was not in line of sight. How could he perform a melee attack? So awkward. Welcome. But I'm happy that he didn't succeed. Ah. Uh, well. I want to kick him, but I can't. Alright then. We're almost running out of ammo. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's go for it. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> All right, Vulcan 5T on the ground with you. Let's do it. C3, do you think it shares vision? That would be fantastic. That would be a major argument for C3. Because then our melee mechs would be able to attack whenever they want from behind cover. Uh, they still on us. Let's go for another SWAT. Gotta get rid of them! Okay, Vulcan taking a bit of damage. How do we get rid of the stupid battle armor? Alright, fine. We're gonna try to take on the Vulcan. Let's go for center torso. Also, about to run out of ammunition here. So, party truck is... Never mind, we don't. No, we are, we're not running out of anything here. Yes. Forget it, forget it, forget it. This is the fastest way to the enemy. Jets activated. Jumping. Go vigilant. Sure. So much ducker from the Irby, as it should be. Come on, it's an urban mech. What Irby does not have is good defense, though. Alright. The damage is getting bigger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is a side attack. Um, 
Maybe I don't attack, maybe I ping this guy. So our auto cannon might be able to hit this dude a little bit better next round. Prepare for damage! Okay, we dodged it. Uh-huh. Oh, these guys are dealing two damage now. Why? Why? Alright, Irby, get in there. The last... What do we have? Three shots? Oh boy, we need more ammunition. And again. And nothing. I don't know if it does a thing. No, it says... Okay, so it, it tries at the very least. It says remove swarming battle armor failure. Gotcha. It's not broken. We're just getting extremely unlucky with the 50-50s. Oh, man. Kevin, uh, next Thursday. Oh, the, the upcoming Thursday, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. is my time. Uh, it's three hours from now. Three hours, 15 minutes. Shoot at yourself. It's a thing I could actually do. It is a thing I could actually... No, I, I cannot target my own units. There is no friendly fire. I mean, there, there is stray shots, but there is yes. no, like... Friendly fire that I can choose. Alright, let's get close. Say hello to my... Whatever. Damn. Maybe that was a wrong idea. Now he is in melee range with his laser cutters and everything. I should have done it the other way around. Let him come to me and then counterattack with melee. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Hey, tomato. And hailstorm. There's friendly fire. Select attack ground. Hold alt. Click friendly. What? That works? Okay. Hydra is bad here. Right, we got a tag. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Zed. Don't hit your friend. Oh, you will, right? You totally will. Yeah. Yeah, but every point of damage that we can get on the fire starter right now is a good damage. <laughs> as much as it hurts me. Problem is gonna be my hatchet man is probably relatively slow next round. And the fire starter might get another attack in. I made a mistake and I am not happy about it. But hey, let's see. We might survive this. Okay. Sorry. I'm gonna go for a SWAT. Failure. Erratic maneuvering works great. Erotic, not so much. <laughs> I mean... Depends on the circumstances. Is it hard to install the mod? No, you just download it from the wiki um, or their Discord and you follow the instructions. It's a, it's a, it's an installation file. You just click install and then select your folder where you have installed Battletech and it will do everything automatically for you. You just have to choose some, uh, some options there. All right, how do we get there? Everything is so dusty. So I, you say. Attack round. Hold alt. Battle armor damaged. But it's not destroyed. We took way more damage than the battle armor did. Um, look at all of these damage instances. I mean, we learned something. Battle armor damage, battle armor damage. But how much? That's not right, man. That's not how it works. <laughs> I mean, it works like that. That's good to know. But it was not worth it. All right, here we, here we go. We're going to try a thing. Oh, boy. Oh my god. So, offensive push. We need to push him back. Just a little bit. We have him tagged. He's now turned 14. Hatchet Man is turned 17. There we go. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and crush him. Uh, I'm gonna go physical weapon from behind. And hopefully we kill. And 
we did. Okay. Problem is, we still have to deal with the battle armor. It is part of... That was unnecessary. Uh, it is part of the actual squad that we have to take. There is erratic maneuvering. No, I thought erratic maneuvering was only for uh, getting or bypassing minefields. No, wait, there is erratic maneuvering, which is for vehicles. We have careful maneuvers, which is for minefields. Look at this. This is careful maneuvers. Reduces movement ex extremely, bringing to a crawl, but allows the unit to ignore all pathing and terrain restrictions. What we do have here is... Oh, no, there is erratic maneuvering. Never mind. Do fancy footworks and barrel rolls to get rid of swarming battle armor. Suffer negative 6 accuracy while doing so. 30% base chance, 5 per evasion generated? Multiplied if jumping? So, get out of here? Ah! Thank you! That's new for me. Cool. And we have the party truck ready to intercept. Thank you. This is so helpful. All right. <laughs> of course they would get the last hit. So, let's go. Let's go home. That was a mission, man. But hey, I learned a lot today. This erratic maneuvering is extremely good when using light max, especially cost of the jump jet multiplier. That's really good. Uh, yeah, the minefields, uh, they don't trigger when you fall. So there's no additional fall mine trigger chance. Yeah. There's that. We taught the master a Trixie? Yeah, I, I just, I, I never checked. I just never checked. Alrighty, so, lots of armor to repair, but we came out of it alive. There is a claw. I think I don't want a claw. I don't know. Thank you so much for your content. Evie, thank you for your sub. Thank you so much for the three months. That's very nice of you. There, what? The, the, the VR pod. I mean, no questions asked, instant pick, right? Right? That's amazing. We need neural implants, though. Uh, you're running a royal heat sink. Hmm. I mean, this guy is not bad, technically. But I don't really care about him. There's a tracker sensor and a range 2 rangefinder plus. I honestly don't know how many cockpit items we have already, but that's a good one. That's a real good one. Falcon. SLDF, Royal Heat Sink as well. I'm gonna disassemble. I want those double heat sink kits. Okay, so we have another industrial cutter, which I'm not gonna use. More mag shots. Man, if we ever find an Omni mag that is fast enough to get to the front line, I would just slap so many mag shots on it and go for it. That seems like a fun build. Holy crap. Uh, again, the claw, the SD and I that I'm looking for. We have another VR pod online. Crazy. Tracker sensor? Probably not. So apart from it... Oh, the double heatsink kit didn't fall out of the mongoose. We have enough endo steel as well. In that case, it's actually mag shot plus ammo. Claw is worth a lot though, yeah. Huh. I'll take this. Give me all the max shots in the world. I'm gonna hope for the claw as a random thing. Let's go. This is amazing loot, guys. This is really good. Hotshot Flamer. We have two of them, so yeah, why not use them in combo? Industrial laser cutter, sure. Medium laser, yes. Small laser, okay. Basic cockpit can go. The 180 engine. I don't think I need it where I'm going. Let's drop it. This can go... SLDF sensors. <laughs> we got two of them lying around and I don't think we're gonna use them, honestly. Drop them. Yeah, our random salvage was kind of garbage, but hey. Guys, we got some very good things here. Take the claw, you want it! I know. But I have a hatchet man that has a physical weapon and claws are basically the opposite. They are really bad for physical attacks and really good for punch attacks. And I know we have been doing so many punch builds. I want to see what I can do with um, actual weaponry this time. All right. So cutting big holes into the enemy's armor. 
When are you gonna stream MacWarrior online? Did I not answer it already? I think I did. Thursday, 8 p.m. Central European time. Quickly checking a message. Okay. All right. Terminator, thank you. Hi. Good morning. Caught you live while homesick. Mm. Frown. I hope you're feeling better soon. I know that feel, man. Um, but hey, rest, enjoy if you can, and have a lot of tea or whatever you are sick with. I don't know. With tea? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 1000 bits, dude. That's huge. The royal heatsinks are usually tied to whatever mech has them installed and you can't remove them. But sometimes when you disassemble, there will be a double heatsink kit uh, that drops out of the mech. That's the thing. Could be that because of the Santa torso being completely destroyed, that didn't happen. Am I gonna do Solaris on this playthrough? Um, it's possible. It is possible. I don't know yet. Okay, so this is all worth now our our travel time. Let's bring this down. Good. It's the last check on the store before we go. And then we need to find a planet that is two and a half skull, I would say. I think this is where we are comfortable. That's ah, all garbage. Okay. Let's see where we can go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Who are you? New Samarkand. It might be a little bit too much for us. I'm looking for... Two, maybe two and a half skull that is close by. That is three already. I know I could filter, but that takes forever. I think this is our planet. It's 20 days away. It's a rich Terran world with agriculture. We have all the factions that we want. Yeah, it's good. We're gonna go there. So, 20 days in space. What are we doing with it? A bit of rebuilding would be nice. I want to take a look at my friend the Wolverine. All right. So... In we go. Solaris is great if you have four flyers, you play all solo and four times four duels and you are fine money-wise. Totally agree. It's kind of easy mode if you have super evasive units that can go anywhere and just backstab and drop like big instant damage on the enemies. This guy is basically as as good as it gets. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's doable, it's workable. I like it. I do like what I see. We even have optics on this dude. Holy crap. Um, What do we do with it? So I think Artemis is not good here. Is Artemis good here? I don't think so. No. No, 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 no. Can't even keep that SRM. You know what? This is all missiles. Let's armor up. Um, drop the Artemis ammo. Drop the case. Currently we are running four out of five jump jets. We might want to give it the fifth as well. Defensive gyro. Standard engine though. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. So, hear me out, guys. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, think about any kind of fire control system and uh, sensors. And I do believe this guy is absolutely a great candidate for this here. Allows moving after shooting if the pirate has implants. But everything else is also active without implants, which is plus one gunnery, plus one piloting, night vision. Um, um, use component means to toggle item. All activatable bonuses only apply if we have implants. Uh, which is two initiative when active. We don't get that. Two max evasion. 10% melee damage, 10% death, death from above damage, and that's it. But it allows us to put another passive in here, which is the VR pod. Makes this thing extremely evasive. I do like what I see. Now, the other thing I want to do is... Um, am am ammunition. We have half a ton of Inferno, which I will gladly take. And the other question is, how much ammo do we need for the rest of these? This is a royal heat sink kit, so we have a lot of extra heat. Yes, okay, that may... Oh, man. That means we're gonna put one SRM-6 here and upgrade this one as well. Correct. Not quite. Not quite correct. XL? We have an XL! 
Oh, mama. Oh, mama, look at this. And you know what? We got the money for it. So might, might as well drop the pharaoh, so we have a bit more slottage to work with. That is fantastic, man. All right, let me quickly check. We are at negative 34% or negative 34 heat numbers. So we give it another jump jet. We have now five out of five. Guardian ECM is pretty good here. Standard fire control system needs to be upgraded. I guess it's improved for an additional gunnery. That's what we got here. We need speed. I know, but we don't have speed currently. 250 is our biggest engine. It's good enough, though. We might even be able to keep the medium lasers. I think ammo is fine now. It's 350 shots. We are shooting... 24 missiles, so we have more than 10 alpha strikes. This is kind of my benchmark. This is what I go for usually. 10 in the early game, 15 in the mid game, maybe 20 in the late. Really comes down to your setup. If you can kill quickly enough, then you're fine with less. Negative 12 heat. Um, and we have 15 jump heat. It's good enough. Could get stealth. It's only Stealth X, but it's possible. Do I want it? We still have Tonnage. What about a support system? No, we cannot go support system. It's not possible. The funny thing is we have two Ballistic Hardpoints that we can utilize. It could be just two max shots. We have enough of these. Or oh, hold up. The Mortar 4. Do we have ammo for that thing? Acid and Air Burst. I mean... It's not gonna be really good at close range, but we can use it to have something to do in the early game. Accuracy through Volume of Fire. I mean, the mag shots would help us out against Battle Armor a bit better. But only a bit. Any electronics that help us? We have claws, yeah, sure. Hmm. So they are battle computers. I could also take an active probe and that's that's it. I could take battle computers here. You know, for I mean I don't need recoil on SRMs, but we got the, the critical battle computer and the long range battle computer. It's really gonna help us when we are not quite there. But it takes one gunnery away. Uh, jam chance, we don't have a jam chance. Ah, man, it's, it's wasted, I don't think it's good. So no, I'm not gonna do that. What we do now is uh, we'll take a ton of max shot ammo and we call it a day. 50 shots, yeah, it's 20, 25 alpha strikes on this. I wish we had more ballistic hard points. Air burst against power armor, is that good? Any handheld? Chainsaw, no. Would love to put a tag on the mech, but I can't. So... Eh. It's a ton. What are we doing with a ton? Shall I keep K's? No, I'm not gonna do that. Um, Alright, guys. We need to make a decision. Maybe I'm just gonna do it for the moment, just like that. Or, hold up. There's one more option. We could possibly run a medium pulse laser. No. But what I just realized is that we have these flamers. They're also good against battle armor, so we have another unit that can take care of them. See the flamers with the inferno ammo at the same time? That seems good. So energy hardpoint wise, we are done so. Hotshot flamer. It's probably better than a regular one. It's 9-9 compared to 10-10. This gives us one evasion, ignore. Hotshot gives us also plus one accuracy. I do like the accuracy. Okay, I'm aware we have one ton under. We'll figure something out later.
Energy battle computer for the lasers, but for just for that, come on, I don't know. So, that means that our friend, the Phoenix Hawk, is probably going to get benched for a while. We'll see. I think Irby is fine as is. So, yeah, there's nothing else that we need to do anymore other than waiting for the Wolvie to come online. And here's the thing, it needs 19 days to be repaired. And, right, did I see that? Did I see that correctly? Yeah, our travel time is 10 days, and this guy needs more. So, it needs some time still. What I do want is Bravo pods. Or beta pods. So, we can have more mech warriors. At some point, I need a roster of about, I would say, honestly, 20 people. Um, and that means that we should start looking for them early. And train them passively with our training simulators. So, upgrade that, so we can then hire more people. All right, here we go. Battle computers have been nerfed. Only four stack at the same time. What? With the additional bonus to, um, like, uh, offensive push accuracy? Or what do you mean? Battle armor, LRM, bolt on mortar 5. That thing is not bad. It has eight salvos. It's an eight-ton weapon. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's heavy. Ugh. VTOL Academy is here. Good. Magpie. Sadly, these UAVs are only one single use. So you basically invest 90,000 Seabills to have one UAV on the battlefield. That is a lot to ask, to be honest. I, I don't like that too much. So we're gonna skip that. Okay, there's nothing in there. Alright. So, into the hiring hall we go. We find Epoxy. Honest Noble. Nah. There's Ingvild. Athletic, ex-military, that's good. Lucky, oh. Commander Gladiator. You would be a real good um, rotary person. Because you're lucky, you have a 10% jam modifier and you also have a recoil reduction as an ex-military. It's fantastic. I think I want her. You can run max and vehicles, also quite versatile. You have no affinities, enough, no nothing. Orcus, ex-military, athletic, noble, wealthy. I don't really care. It's nothing unique. And then there's Whisper. Noble ex-military bookish. Yeah, it's gonna be Ingvild. Gonna hire her. Cold shot stacks up six times. All other boni don't have a limit. So offensive push accuracy is what you're talking about. But then the location modifier is infinite. Is that what you're saying? Maybe that. Cowboy! Thank you! Thank you for the gifted sub, dude. Um, what can I say? <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Hailstorm got one now. Thumbs up to you. Alrighty, guys. We're gonna take a look at the barracks and then we go... Wait, Hotshot Flamers need ammo? <gasps> what? Did I not see that correctly? Bit of gunnery for our melee, guys, so we can hit our Ultra Auto Cannon a bit better. And yes, finally. Okay, okay, okay. Braver is back. What is his second ability? Gotta think about that. I certainly want to give him the uh, Warlord ability for... <sighs> Will I actually? Will I? Hold up. So, here's the thing. This guy is... Uh, Ilkhan of the Il Clan, negative one recoil, two offensive push accuracy. He's also the Market Master, or negative two recoil, less stability damage taken. So it's a negative three. He also has the Focus Fire ability for a negative five. Uh, sorry, negative four. That means we don't need Controlled Burst for a negative five. I think we can easily reduce two recoil with like recoil dampeners and like fire control systems and so on. So we're gonna get to the negative six easily. Warlord could be good for OP accuracy. Is he assassin? No, he's not. So the only thing that we get in terms of offensive push accuracy is this one. It's a plus two, it's pretty good. I could give him that. 
Plus one to cluster. That's pretty good. But I don't think it's if it's gonna be better than, for example, Escapist or Awareness or maybe even the uh, Cautious ability to remove stability whenever you are reserving. I want you to be safe. Let's go for it. All right, here we go. You're fine, Floki. I don't really care about you yet. Uh, this is Happy. Happy is our current uh, and future um, vehicle specialist. So I think what I definitely want is Escapist, because as soon as we get VTOLs, max evasion matters a lot. So we go for this first. Um, and I probably want to give him Sensor Lock. So I'll go with Tactician here. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Alright, and then we're gonna push Gunnery so he can hit a bit better. There's Ingvild. We're gonna leave her where she is right now. We got a Bandit in terms of Monster. He's very close to getting Sensor Lock. Man, that's pretty good. Yeah, you're just a guy. I think I'll go for it. Yeah. Sensor Lock goes a long way in the mid game, especially. Let's do that. And Torbjorn. Torbjorn is. Eh, he's fine. Let's go for it. Great. So, ready to roll again, guys. Let's do it. Two Skull for the Combine. It's fantastic. There's also a duel that we can play. Mm, could be a nice benchmark for the Wolvie later. There's two duels. Perfect. So, yeah, I'm gonna go for Two Skull. Let's play this against the pirates again, but that's a massive, massive amount of salvage. So here we go. Welcome. Uh, you get back on Erby. And you are... You're good, I guess. Let's go, guys. Welcome. Let's do it. Die, guy, and shunt. Welcome in. Thank you for the follows on the Twitch. Thank you very much. Yes, these are different series, by the way, because I know that some people don't have the three to four hours sometimes to sit down and watch my live stream content in one go. And, uh, you know, people get confused when they expect, um, you know, a little chunk of like an hour or so of like, like condensed video content. Um, and they get something where I just ramble about and just react to chat and this is happening. Uh, they are like absolutely two different kinds of people that prefer one over the other. And therefore I have two separate playthroughs. So you can choose whatever you like. That's that. Or you could watch both if you like. It's also appreciated. Thorin, thank you. Hi. Da wische ich immer wieder. Willkommen zurück. Vielen Dank für die sechs Monate. Dankeschön. And Buffmage in the house with the three month resub. Thank you. You could be wrong about the Hotshot Flamers. Yeah, we will check them out again as soon as the Wolvie is ready. But thanks for the heads up. I need to see if my wife has sent me a message. She's supposed to pick up my son today. Or our son, actually. But she didn't say a thing yet. Okay. I have to assume that everything is in order. Hey, Kraut. <laughs> Auf beiden Plattformen, huh? <laughs> Let's go. Both? Both is good. That's a good meme. I like it. So here we are. We have to destroy a base. Let's see what we can do. Where do we crawl in from? I think it's this spot. Ah, I forgot a thing. I wanted to add another ton of ammunition for my dervish. That thing needs more LRM ammo. Huh. Friendly VTOL, Phoenix Hawk Lamb, Cluster Bombs, Vulcan Pod, LRM-10, Medium Laser, we Weapons Bay. I don't know if he didn't choose his ammo yet or if it's broken, uh, but it's okay. Enemies are Sarissa, Large Laser, Tronnel, and two, three mediums. Standard Shredder Turret with an AC-20. As well as a Kyoto, wait, Large Laser Tronnel LRM-10. Let's go, Irby. Oh, here they are. A Dervish. A light gun turret with machine guns, heavy machine guns. An Urban Mech turret. 
Harpoon? Question mark? Hold up. Is it just a damaging item or is he actually able to shoot me and reel me in? Interesting. Interesting. There's also another dervish on the right side. Gotcha. Okay. A shutdown weapon, you say? Huh. I'm gonna move and brace. Alright. This should be a very interesting a very interesting run. You can jump over here. I think we're gonna keep the ECM passive for the moment. What do you want? Um yeah, you also wanna jump. Let's get you into the fray. Try to get the hatchet out. DNI on and brace it up. Kinda hope that the turrets and everybody is going for the Phoenix or Glam. That would be fantastic. What are you? The Sarissa, gotcha. So, party truck. Go here. There's honestly a lot of enemy firepower that we need to take down quickly. Kind of happy that we got some friends as well, some meat shields with us. So here going left. All right, the fight is on. We deal 4 damage to the Kyoto, which is good. Could also destroy the turret first to get the AC-20 out, which is most likely the better idea. Yeah, let's go with that. We have a better hit chance on this guy as well. Okay, he's down to 79 right. armor. You certainly want to sprint. Alright. Come on, my friend. Please destroy. Not quite, not quite. I think Irby has to do it. Okay, we got the range. Oh, it's only the mine dispenser that we can shoot from here. We have to go really close. Oh, Irby, don't die, alright? <laughs> don't you dare. Getting wrecked. Can shoot six times now without recoil, that's good. But I need to think about my ammo, so I'm gonna shoot four times. It's good enough. It's good enough. One turret down. Disco truck. Six damage with a 30% chance or six damage with a 30% chance. It does not matter. I'll go for the closer target. Let's go for it. Hooray! Party time! I do like that. Also, I think we hit the head and the pilot is unconscious a little bit. They have a threshold of three, so if, whenever they get knocked or anything, or get a headshot, they will, that will be lowered by one. And he's already down to two, so that's pretty good. Was that a multi-target? An intended multi-target? Nah, it was just a misguided bomb. Yeah. Yeah, I believe we will suffer here. This is not gonna be easy for us. Yeah, I'd say it's good enough. Let's shoot the guy that we've already shot and drop mines in our path. <laughs> Let's go. I didn't mean that. Not literally. I thought they would scatter a little bit more into the enemy's territory, not directly on our feet. Come on, man. Ugh, that was not amazing. But hey. They're in the minefield as well, and we got jump jets, so we can get out of it again. It's no big problem. Good. He's moving only one hex. Yeah, he did a careful maneuver. Minefields are amazing now because of that. You can pin enemies with them, and it doesn't matter how many mines you drop. You just need that. Of course, if you drop high explosive stuffs or PPC on the minefield, then it will get destroyed again. But I think if you manage to play around that, that's fantastic. Prowler. Yeah, look at that. We have a pretty solid damage output because of his evasion of only two. I do like that. Have a good day, crowd. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss. What is it already? 
You say some are running through? Interesting. Speaking of running through, I think I'll activate my supercharger right now. I want to threaten these guys. Okay, funny thing is we have a better chance on you, my friend. Let's get the chaff out as well. So my hatchet man is now in a position where he can actually melee. But next round, this round we are still kind of pinned. We will run over four mines if we do this. See, I want to stay here close to my friend the dervish. And this time, I go all in. All right, ordering matters. It's good that we went away from this. Perfect. Oh, that's perfect. This is really, really good. Uh, move here. Attack. Good. The modern minefield clearing. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of an environmental disaster as well. I mean, the big forest fire of 30... 29? Where are we? I don't know. <laughs> it was us. We started it. Good. So party truck got attacked. That's nice. Party truck has armor. Doesn't need repairs. Yeah, looking good. There's another urban mech turret in the back. Wait, we've seen these guys. This guy's running a PPC of some sort, right? Good. Do we need an RTX? No, not at all. Not at all. I was running this game with my 1080 Ti back in the days. In my days? Oh, when I was young. Ooh. Where's the spot? Might be... Might be this. Oh wait, that's a Kyoto. I want to attack the Dervish, actually. With an unobstructed line of sight. We wouldn't get it. Hmm. Three damage is not enough for me right now. Yeah, I'd rather attack the Kyoto with more. Let's go for it. You have a 1050 Ti. I mean, you could try it. Disco truck. Two armor damage on the mines. Yeah, it's fine. Let's go! This is so ridiculous. I like that thing. Okay. This guy also generated 43 heat because of these uh, lasers. That's amazing. We need, we need more of them and slap him on medium max and just go. Wait, how many are we running on the truck? Is it four? It's four. Imagine, we talked about it earlier, imagine a Stormcrow running this, but not four, but... I don't know, how many can you put in a, in a crow? Eight? So good. Here's the Kyoto. Okay. Yeah, I really feel like this is a two-skull mission that is rather easy. I mean, yes, there's firepower, but we were able to manage it quite, um, quite nicely. So two and a half, maybe even three. I don't know, man. Yeah, melee is not a good option here. What graphics card do I have? I have a 3080 Ti currently. I need to fall back. Oh, this is good. That's my spot. Maximum damage. This looks like a miniature Centurion, by the way. Correction, looked. Oh, no. It's a bit of an oopsie. Um, the heat, the stability, the damage. Oh no. Oh, no. Uh, this was not good. 
Are we fast enough still to kick? Yeah, we, oh, to, to punch? We are. Let's turn off the supercharger. Where we are going, we don't need that. Charger is only good for... Sprint mobility? Oh, wait, what? Welcome. Game? I was able to make a melee attack a second ago. No, I'm not. Oh, because it is just a charge attack. I mean, in that case, yeah. Let's get out of the fire. Ugh. In motion, Commander. And not shoot the lasers because they're gonna be way too hot. But I can shoot my auto cannon. Let's say once. Got some chaff energy in here. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. Today on the menu, roasted hatchet man. Okay, at the very least we got Irby, you can clear. Uh, cannot quite clear. I don't want to overheat. Okay, move back. No lasers, I guess. Yeah, it's too hot, but we can still fire the mag shots. Give me some value out of these, please. Rip the arm or something. No, we didn't get it. The party truck is way too slow still. We need to get this guy a bit more, like, tactics. Could this be it? Right, we got an arm down, at the very least. Whew. Uh, Lauren has it right, by the way. Lauren says the graphic card does not play uh, uh, a big role in Rogue Tech. It's mostly CPU and RAM. Yes, that is what the mod wants. It's very CPU hungry. This is one of these uh, moments where I am very happy to see a bolt on AMS. Oh my god. So, my friends, let us go. So, I can only shoot the dervish if I go to the fire, but that's fine. Yes, we will take a bit of damage, but let's keep going. Another explosion? A minor explosion. Okay. I really feel like it's not the enemies that are dangerous. Like, not in their initial state. <laughs> they are dangerous when they explode in a massive radius around us. Cool. Perfect. They are having this little skirmish here on the sidelines. That means that we don't have to worry about any of these guys and we can take our sweet, sweet time. Yeah, not getting attacked by this. Okay. Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? I want to start attacking the turret, but we had to run over. The mines are not that dangerous anymore. It's only five mines that would trigger. Tops. So six armor damage to each leg. I don't care. Let's take the turrets out before we close in. And that's mostly because... Not I'm, a, not, not I'm endangered by these, but I just don't want the animation to play anymore. I just want them to be silent. Flames on the way. Yeah, fine. Get the turret. Chaff? No chaff? I was kind of hoping for a hit. Almost gone. Okay. Phoenix Hawk. Get him. Okay, that's good. They also they also attack the buildings. They are bombing them down. Nice. Really, really good. Okay, Irby, can you solve the problem of the light turret? I actually dropped the mines because they have an impact damage of one. <laughs> that's fine. Cool. And if the little guy, which is standing down here, the Sarissa, is going there, they're gonna take some extra damage. Sure. Through the fire and flames we carry on. 46 damage to the back. I mean, why not? Okay. So what we have is two turrets, one of them half dead, 
one Sarissa, and then we also got the buildings. This guy really seems dangerous, although being... Never mind, it's a 50 tonner. Yeah, it has one large laser and three mediums, so it has a good amount of just raw damage to its face. Um, okay. So I guess we're gonna start dealing damage to the buildings then. By the way, disco lasers should deal a massive amount of damage to buildings because they also generate heat, and heat will be added to the raw damage that we do. So every point of heat damage is one damage to the building, if I remember correctly. That's really nice. You're gonna see Dragon Force live the weekend? Nice, with Amaranthi? Cool. Saw them last year. They actually put up a good show when, you know, when they're in the mood. Saw them at the festival last year. And it's just crazy how good they are with their instruments. I mean, Herman Lee is a god anyways. Um, but they were just jumping around the stage and I couldn't hear any false notes. So damn good. So yeah, enjoy is what I want to say. Go ahead and enjoy. Irby? Irby building Shredder? How do these interact with buildings? It says we deal 20 damage. It's pretty good. Down. Herman Lee is the is a top-notch musician and the ultimate meme lord. He has his own Twitch channel. Come on. He's such a cool guy. So actually, I could say that Herman Lee is a colleague of mine. Is that true? <laughs> uh, does that sound ostentatious? Ah. Ah. Whatever. Let's go for it. Get the turret out of the way. I was thinking about my stability here, but there is... Like, even if the guy manages to make me unsteady, there is no follow-up damage for the knockdown. What do you want? They toured with Power Wolf two years ago, but Dragon Force never came to the UK. Really? That's awkward. That's the thing that I cannot believe. Let's roll. Like, I mean, there must have been in the UK at some point. When you say never, that's uh, like an exaggeration, right? All right, so our long-range missile turret, uh, turret, uh, mech can take him out now. Okay, 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 okay. I think we got it, guys. There we go. Last enemy off the board. Or, wait, did we? Oh, no. Oh, I thought he's dead. He's not. Well... Let's make him. But later. <laughs> Isn't Dragon Force British? At least partly? I think yes, right? They are like part British, part Australian? Okay. Disco truck needs to be faster. I mean, I think, honestly, I think his speed is fine as is. But I want him to be faster. Hello, Knobi. Gruitzi. Uh, alright. Last alpha strike of regular missiles. Man, we need more ammo. I think the Hydra alone is just not good. And honestly, a ton is too much. It's not that we get massive value out of that. It's just good to just light up the forest around the enemies occasionally, take away their their cover and heat them up a little bit. But it is not particularly good. Anja? No. What do you want? On my way, Commander. And honestly, I'm really happy about the Ultra 10 on the Hatchet Man. It makes this mech extremely Trip viable, down. even if he doesn't get into his desired range. It's so good, man. Triple them, Commander. Uh, this guy might die because of the impact. Let's see. If he has three health, that might be it. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. Looking good. Are you and TTP friends? No. No. I I just don't know the guy. <laughs> That's just it. Uh, we had the occasional, um, like, chat every now and then. Um, but I wouldn't call ourselves friends. It's just another streamer. 
and I'm, I mean in, in no like bad way it's just um he and me we are we are making content with the same stuff on on the youtubes and on the twitches and, and honestly i i'm not too much of a very like socializer so i it stresses me out doing that with other people like in my niche and so on it like a lot really a lot uh it's not that i have anything against anybody but it's just i i'd like to live in my shell if you know what i mean Alrighty, this is the harpoon. Let's actually take a look at that thing. So we got a 30 damage weapon for 4 tons. Maximum range is 400. Variation of 5 damage. Destabilizes the target's gyro by 15%. That means... 15% of their stability will be added when you hit. Right? Hmm... Weapon has a recoil of 3, misfire multiplier, sure. Jam chance, sure. Cannot be fired at flying targets. <laughs> 30 damage for 4 tons, low heat, and a good chunk of stability. I think it has its niche, but I don't think it's good. So I, th <laughs> I think I'm gonna skip it. Do we want another mag shot? Huh? Anybody? It's a pirate medium chemical laser. 25 damage for 6 heat. Oh, internal, internal ammunition. Oh, 10 shots? It's most of the time what you need. It's pretty good. Honestly, I think it's a good weapon. For 6 heat, you get an amazing amount of value. Alright, the problem is when you run out of ammo and you want more, you are sitting there with your pants down and that is... Oh god. That is bad. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Which idiot went for 6 out of 27 salvage points? And then blew up all of his targets. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh god. This is bad. I'll take the double bin of Ultra 5 ammo. Oh, basic sensors or primitive armor? What do you think, guys? What shall we take? Fire that person. Oh. Alright, we'll, we'll take the harpoon. What kind of ammo do you use? Harpoon ammo. Who would have thought that? Okay, fusion core is worth a bit. Ay ay ay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Didn't even need to pick anything. I get everything anyways. Oh, the value. Alright. Get that out, get that out, get that out. Fusion core is good. I'll keep it. Okay. <laughs> oh no. So yeah, we got some LRM tens. We got some engine situations here. Drunken Fisher was doing the targeting. It seems like it. Alrighty, guys. Um, I said it earlier. A bit of a shorter stream today because I'm gonna sit down and prepare a D and D session for a friend today. We're gonna do a one on one intro session for a character, and um, I need to prepare that again. So, guys, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the one and a half hours of Rogue Tech. Uh, today's video that I'm gonna upload later is gonna also be a Rogue Tech video, but the other one from the video series. So, guys, thank you for watching today. Uh, thank you for joining, and uh, of course we're gonna host somebody, so let's see who is on online. There we go, so Banlish is here. Is anybody playing Battletech? By the way, this Deep Rock thing is actually quite fun. I played it myself. You know what, I'm gonna host Banlish. He is a real nice guy, and I really do like the, the game that he's playing. So have fun with him on the Twitches, on the YouTubes. I'm going to say good day and have a great rest of it. So cheers, guys. Good yeah, day. <laughs>